So the Dragon Prince is super dope. Obviously, it's got dragons in it, and who doesn't love dragons, but also all kinds of different magics and an amazing story written by the same people who wrote Avatar. And if you didn't know, I really like Avatar. But the one aspect that would have my heart the most are the Shadow Elves. Like, bruh. They are basically just ninja elves, and one of the main characters is actually one of them. She uses twin blades that turn into different types of weapons, and the Shadow Mode? Literally just straight ninja. So obviously, who wouldn't want to learn how to fight just like her? So, let's find out how. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing Ava does a superhero hat and welcome to the fight like a superhero series One of my favorite series on this channel. I do much more of them, but they just take a long time to do Sorry, but for those of you that don't know the series is basically me taking characters from TV movies and other forms of media Breaking down their fighting styles and then showing you what you can do to recreate them in real life And today we're doing a character that one of my students will not let me forget about. Rayla from The Dragon Prince. I'm just a simple human girl who likes the human things like bread and complaining all the time. No, you're an elf. Fine, I'm an elf. So let's see what we can actually do to recreate her fighting style. First, let's start with her weapon of choice. These short swords have the ability to change into different settings, essentially. Most notably, a straight short sword hook blades, and completely retracted into, like, a carrying mode. Careful with those. Wouldn't want to lose a finger. I mean, can you imagine going through life with only four fingers? Now, I'm gonna be real. I haven't heard of them making any weapons that can just transform at will like she does in the show. So, for her build in this video, we're gonna be using commas. Commas are essentially mini scythes. They're awesome and fun to use, and if you wanna get a set of your own, check out the links in the corner or description or wherever, because, you know, I already made a video talking about these guys. But yeah, I know, it might be disappointing. We're not gonna use some magic weapon that doesn't exist but who wants to carry around four weapons in order to equate for the two that she carries so I figure commas work just fine but how do we actually use these commas well traditionally they're just a farming tool so you use them to I don't know gather rice look we all have our skills but I'm not a farmer and this is not a farming channel so if you want to learn how to farm with these uh can't help you. But as far as fighting goes, they're most often used in pairs in Japanese and Okinawan martial arts. So like I said, the first step is to grab you a pair of commas and links are always down in the description with a discount code for you. You're welcome. And to get the techniques for them, you're going to want to practice an Okinawan martial art. Maybe Karate, Taekwondo, or Tong Sudo. You're probably going to want to go with Karate because it's more likely to have commas than many other schools. And, well, I mean, it's easy to find in most areas. Now, many of you may already know this, but for those of you that don't, Karate, or Karate as many Americans pronounce it, is historically a striking art. Meaning it uses your physical body to strike. So punches, kicks, knees elbows and the all famous karate chop. You'll never be afraid of violence again. But many modern schools also incorporate grappling, throws, joint manipulation and weapons. Like I said, specifically the commas. So for our Rayla build, we're going to be basing our martial arts training in karate. Don't give me crap for mispronouncing it. I'm dyslexic. I could barely pronounce English words. Rayla is also able to incorporate parkour seamlessly into her combat style. Parkour being the athletic discipline where people try to get from point A to point B in the fastest way possible. All while performing many different kinds of gymnastics maneuvers to do it. So vaulting, rolling, jumping, and flipping to get around obstacles. With the rise of extreme tag though, it's getting much, much more popular and accessible to the average person. And if you don't know what extreme tag is, watch this clip right here. Section used very well. United. Yeah, it's super cool. I want to do it. And if you'll do it with me, let me know down in the comments. So obviously make sure to spec into parkour quite heavily. But in a more surprising turn of events, she doesn't really kick all that often. 
However, the few times she does, she's able to combine her kicking skills with her parkour skills to do some incredibly high difficulty kicks. Meaning you very rarely see her do things like a front kick, round kick, or a side kick, but doing a tornado is totally on the board. Go spec slightly into Olympic Taekwondo for both the challenging kicks they employ and the crazy speed they're able to use. Rayla, along with the rest of the Shadow Elves, are incredibly fast, and so Rayla's fighting style relies on speed during every aspect of her combat. So you can never really have enough speed training. And of course, I really wanted a way to incorporate the Moon Shadow form. Basically, it's a special ability of all Moon Shadow Elves that allow them to become nearly invisible. But the way they do it, it's pretty much magic as far as, you know, real world is concerned. So here's my closest attempt. Back into ninjutsu. It's the martial arts strategy and tactics of unconventional warfare and espionage. And we're gonna use it for that espionage aspect. Allowing us to simulate the moon shadow form by the special tactics we are able to implement. So let's recap. We're going to start our training in karate, specifically making sure to train kamas as a main. And then also specking into some serious parkour training. Sprinkle in a little bit of Olympic style taekwondo and ninjutsu and we should finally have something that is basically the same as Rayla's fighting style from the Dragon Prince. How did you? I just pressed all the stones with the jelly hand prints. Now is this video sponsored? No. No it's not. But y'all can like blow up this video so that maybe they can notice me and sponsor me for another video. You know. That'd be super nice. So hit me with that HBO special and help a brother out by hitting the like, dropping a comment, and subscribing if you're new. And of course, tag Netflix so they can sponsor me. Time out, time out, time out. Can you even tag Netflix? Maybe. I don't really know. Well, I mean, definitely give it a try. I don't know. But either way, I'll see you guys next time because my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about Ahsoka Tano from Star Wars or this one YouTube thinks you'll enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.